Okay, so Hobson has a new video called Happy Endings. Um, I don't know how many of y'all saw this because YouTube pulled it down. Being subject to their platform and their rules and, and all of that is, I don't know, it is what it is. said that there was nudity in it and that was their reason but you know other people are citing racism and other things and I'll let you decide this is not about me judging Hobson or yeah, he has an Asian fetish yeah he totes has yellow fever and I'm like as someone who's dated all different types of women have been in relationships with intelligent decent and not the prostitutes that he's depicting you know it's it's hard to say like i you know he's talking about a specific experience i'm thinking that he was trying to be funny he's always controversial he always stirs stuff up there's some explicit sexual stuff going on there i wouldn't want my kids watching this um so probably not youtube friendly the sex scene was done in a kind of cartoonishly creative way you know fairly classy you know, it could have been a lot more raunchy and crazy you know it was tastefully done they did a good job at trying to not just be like a you know full-on you know you get what i'm saying there's no penetration the most difficult thing for me to kind of say well you know that's his art let him do him you know i've been in situations where someone i'll just say it like a white guy trying to sound black because i'm black and he's not normally like that and it turns into a caricature that just i don't know it just sounds silly to me look i know you wish you were black you know i get it but you're not and don't talk to me like that because that's not what black is to me it's offensive anybody who's been in that situation men with yellow fever look at you and they only see schoolgirls or sexual geishas they hide samurai sword collections in their closet and they learn how to speak an asian language and only talk to you in that friggin language uh english is my first language if i were to walk up to somebody italian and be like hey what what amount of pizza it's just it's not cool you know what i mean and and the hook is in his female asian voice with broken chinese sucky sucky it's crazy that's cheap that's offensive okay that's the part that was hardest to stomach hobson i don't know man i you sign up for YouTube, you want to put videos on there. From what I gather, they stopped using the algorithm. Um, they hired, I think, 10,000 people to watch videos um, and screen them. And so there's an actual human that watched that video and said, you know, this is offensive and it doesn't, it doesn't fit our brand. And that's not the type of energy we want to project, especially with the stuff that just happened at Starbucks and Philly and just, you know, I don't want to promote this and I can understand saying that like for me if he had asked me to put the video on my forum I'm like nah man that's not cool and that's offensive love excels all that's where I'm at the video is crazy it starts out he's hanging out with his homies um, he's telling them a story I guess they're in a bar or a restaurant I went to the back page I was looking for prostitutes I like Asians I walk in and they get right to the business I want a girl for a half hour hour and pays his money and they tell him to strip the massage starts and the girl touches his butt kind of ends up a little bit further down in some nether region he likes it lets her know that he likes it and then she propositions him pays her and they have sex his attitude throughout the video is boastful and proud. I guess he's happy that he scored an Asian prostitute. It also does a public service thing at the end. To make sure you wear your protection. And I like to check out the rap. I don't necessarily listen to it. I'm always in production mode making music. and For a lot of reasons I don't obsess on other people's work and I like to kind of be in my creative zone but I do check stuff out so I can see what other people's doing stay relevant. I appreciate good art. And I will say, Hobson is an amazing artist. If you haven't checked him out, I love this No Words video. And there's another one where he questions the existence of God. 
It's crazy. I mean, I don't always, in fact, I'd, I'd frequently disagree with his viewpoints and stuff like that, but he has a good way of putting things, and I'm glad that he puts out work that challenges us, because I've had discussions based on his work. I, I appreciate him. He's, he's an amazing artist. There's no taking anything away from his talent. Happy endings video. Like I said, not my cup of tea. <laughs> I have my opinions. I have my beliefs. I share my thoughts. Research and draw your own conclusions. I don't profess to be right all the time. Or, you know, I just come across things and share them. And these are my thoughts. You know, use your brain. Don't just go for the willy bobo. But that's what it is. Love excels all. Yo, mash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know what I mean? Share. Um, all of that good stuff. Broadcast on the FM band in New York, some parts of Westchester, the Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn. There's the internet thing on the TuneIn app, and it's called Full 100 Radio. So put a link below. Um, artists, get at us. Um, if you want your music played, um, the focus is on electronic music, EDM, urban pop, you know, conscious music. We want that. Absolutely want you. And, you know, make sure to include your contact info because we will be reaching out to people for interviews we'll do phone interviews skype so it doesn't even matter if you're in america and we're growing we're learning and that's it love excels all mess that like button